we would be starting with the quotes and the, and the <clears throat> topics that was continuing from yesterday itself. It would be a continuity of what was being covered earlier. <clears throat> and today I would be discussing various important topics which would be covering the Viceroy's, Governor General's etc. which were there. Some portion of that thing was covered yesterday and the remaining will be covered today as much as possible. <clears throat> The important thing is that this topic is very much important from pre perspective. <clears throat> pre ke perspective say kafi important topics are which has to be covered. Therefore, try to learn and try to memorize these topics now itself so that it becomes comparatively easy for you <clears throat> to be in a position. To answer that question quite comfortably. <coughs> so what I am trying it as yesterday I have covered certain governors that were there. Unko kafi comprehensive se cover kiya tha. I would be continuing upon that only and I will be covering various governor generals and governor general of India, viceroys today also. So CQ Praj development CQ Praj continuity chalti rahegi. Those students who have still not joined the plus platform, they can use my referral code. You know, my referral code is Maluka10. And as you are using my referral code, you'll get a 10% discount on all the courses which are being run on the plus platform. Jitane bhi plus platform ke upar courses chal rahe hain, aapko sab ke upar discount bilega. Firstly. Secondly, <coughs> not only this, but it is also equally important that if you need any sort of a guidance from me, you can also join me or message me on the, my telegram group or telegram pe bhi message karenge. I would be there to help you out on this issue also. If for example, you can join me on the telegram group, telegram group ka naam hai Maluka sir. It is here that you can join. Jo bhi aapke doubt hai iske regarding uh, hello, how are you? Doubt hai regarding all these things, I'll try to cover it out. Along with this, I've created a WhatsApp group for the Unacademy students. message But do write over there that as you are a student of the uh, Unacademy platform. Uske baad aapko jo bhi help hogi as per the need, I'll try to help you out also. You can WhatsApp me on this number 9910133084. Try to watch WhatsApp on this number or upon naam or ye definitely likhe ki plus platform se hai. I'll try to help you in that context. So therefore, it is very much important that you are there on the right track and you should be in a position to crack the exam in this attempt itself. Now, start karte hai with the continue karte hai to what was covered yesterday. Cornwallis was being covered. Don Shore, Subsidy Lines, everything was being covered yesterday. Bentec, we were doing <coughs> various reforms that were undertaken by him, important reforms we were doing. In the course of the class, if any student is having any problem with any of the points that is not clear to them, they can definitely ask me. They can definitely ask. If any other query is also there regarding the UPSC preparation, you can let me know. I'll try to help you out in that also. So continue karte hain William Bentek se. He was a governor general basically from 1828 to 35 at this point. He is also known as a valuable governor general. It is he who came the closest to the Indian hearts. But it is basically concerned about the revolt of 1857 before it. For example, various re uh, reforms were undertaken by him. Yeah, for example, in the context of Sati also, Regulation 17 was passed <coughs> during his time. Regulation 17 was in 1929. Initially, it was banned in Bengal and later on, it extended the practice in other regions also. Not only this, but attempts were also made to suppress the Thuggi, Thuggi system in 1830. It was in this context that uh, Captain William Sleeman, it was he who made the major role. <clears throat> he basically led the military operation against the thugs. 
he also undertook uh, various steps to define the aims and objectives of the education policy also and in this regard he appointed a committee on public instructions basically under the chairmanship of the lord macaulay it recommended that english should be the medium of instructions an introduction of the english language english literature and the social and the natural sciences should also be done in the same consideration only so therefore in the context of education lord macaulay minute or macaulay minutes came during this time only Med lord macaulay was basically the president of the committee of public instruction said that the education system shall produce people that are in blood the people that are basically <coughs> indian in blood and color on the other hand but in the context of opinion in the context of taste in the context of morals they would basically be english another important step that was undertaken by him was basically in the context of the female infanticide that was banned the first indian medical college was opened at calcutta also during his time very state the annexation of certain states took place next the native states of mysore that was done in 1831 kutch that was done in 1832 jaintia in 1832 kurgan 1834 they were annexed basically kya bahana kya protest lagaya gaya tha that they are basically being carried upon there is a good amount of misgovernance that is prevailing jiski wajah se unko annex kiya gaya the reforms was undertaken by bentick also in the time, in the in the field of judiciary also the one important thing was he allowed the use of the vernacular languages in the filing of the suits so that the people can be in a position to understand what are the problems they are facing and kiske bare mein wo complaint karna cha rahe hain the complaint or the filing of the suits apna case wo apni vernacular language mein kar sakte hain isse pehle it was the only persian that was used the language of the courts or courts english was was the court language of the in the higher courts but in the lower courts it was basically the persian that continued in the lower courts another important development was that he also abolished the provincial courts of civil appeal the provincial courts of civil appeals that were there that was also abolished and circuit courts also the codification of the indian laws were allowed and for the codification of the indian law <coughs> A law, a law commission was set up, headed by Lord Macaulay also. Another important development was the province of Agra. <clears throat> He also created the province of Agra in 1834. He has earlier replaced. that was the in the context of the Velour mutiny has taken place, and he had taken various steps to suppress that also. दिल्ली और यूपी में अ सेपरेट सदर दीवानी एंड सदर निजामत वॉज ऑल्सो सेटअप एट इलाहाबाद ऑल्सो सो दैट इट बिकेम कंपेरेटिवली इजी फॉर द पीपल इन 1833 द चार्टर एक्ट वाज पास्ड इन द कंटेक्स दैट इट वुड बी फर्दर रिन्यूड द अथॉरिटी ऑफ द कंपनी फॉर अनदर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ईयर्स it stated that no indian subject should be barred from holding any office or koi bhi office ko aap hold karne se unko bar rok nahi sakte another important development that took place during this time was the land revenue settlement that was prepared by martin bird who was basically introduced the settlement introduced the because of this settlement that was introduced he also known as the father of the land revenue settlements in the north india in this context q important two things ke context mein one is in the context of the field maps another is in the context of the field registers the field maps and the field registers were prescribed for the first time over here therefore he is also an effort to the father of the land revenue settlements in the northern part of the country कहा जाता है कि ही वॉज वेरी मच रूथलेस इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ मेंटेनिंग एंड इंश्योरिंग फाइनेंशियल एफिशिएंसी एंड डिसरिगार्डेड फॉर द इंडियन कल्चर एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट हैज लेड टू द रिपीटेड स्टोरी दैट वंस ही इवन प्लैंड 
to demolish Taj Mahal and sale of its marble. कि ताज महल को डिवॉलिश करो और इस डिमोलिश करो और इसका मार्बल सेल ऑफ कर दो नेक्स्ट इज सर चार्ल्स मेटकाल्फ 1835-36 थर्टी ही इज बेसिकली कंटेक्सट एज इन द कंटेक्स दैट ही इज नोन एज द लिबरेटर ऑफ इंडियन प्रेस ही इन द कंटेक्स दैट he abolished the licensing regulation of 1832 which was enacted by john adams and removed the restriction of the press also the next is lord auckland it was he who signed a trepidatory treaty involving company on the one hand maharaja ranjit singh on the other hand and shah shuja a treaty trepidatory treaty was signed basically in 1838 and 1839 ranjit singh he accepted company's mediation in the dispute of with amirs of sind that if there would be any disputes in with amirs of sind then the mediation of the company would be accepted shah shuja considered his go- go- uh, sovereign right over and send the uh, in the condition that they would be uh, if there would be any arrears then the tributes would be sent in february 1939 the army is sent up accepted by a treaty basically a treaty was imposed upon them basically in the context that now the tribute subsidy was to be given and tributes was to be paid and the army was to be stationed at shikarpur on the one hand and bokkar on the other hand it was during his time that first anglo afghan war also started mandavi was next in 1839 the next important governor who made great contribution in this context was lord ellenboro he ended the first anglo afghan war yahan pe khatam hua <clears throat> general england george pollock william not they participated in the rescue effort in the afghanistan alexander burns he was basically murdered in the heart of kabul the major development in this regard is charles napier he was basically he replaced major outram as basically as the resident in the sindh disagreeing to the napier's policy of sindh major outram routed to him that i am sick of your policy <clears throat> i am not say you, that your policy is the best but under undoubtedly the shortest that of this sword ki agar aap talwar ke mutahat ke mutabik hi sab kuch karna cha rahe ho that may be the not the best for the shortest definitely hai it was during this time that the sindh was next to british empire Charles Napier played a very important role in this annexation. About the annexation of Sindh, he commented that although we do not have any right to seize Sindh, see, हमें Sindh को seize करने का कोई right नहीं है. But we shall do so, and a very advantageous, useful, and human piece of rascality it would be. despite the fact that we do not have any right but we should be doing so as it would be advantageous to our policy after the conquest of the sindh charles napier was appointed as the first governor also and in 1843 he fought a war with gwalior he also attempted to bring back the gates of somnath temple which was earlier taken away by mahmud ghaznavi in 1025 in 1843 the court of directors made it a policy that the adoption of the princes in cases of not having a natural heir would be an exception and not the rule court of directors ne guidelines issue kari ki ab ke baad agar adoption hoga to that would be basically an exception and not a rule and adoption will be allowed only in certain circumstances and that would be rarest of the rare he also fought battles with gwalior Sir Hugh Gough 
was ordered to advance and the Maratha forces were defeated in that context, basically in the battles of Maharajpur and Punir also. Then the defeat took place. Next important governor general was Lord Harding. Next, 1844-48, he basically fought in this regard the first Anglo-Sikh war that took place from 1845-46 to and signed a treaty of Lahore that in 1846 in this regard. A very important development with which he is associated is basically the practice of slavery that was abolished in 1843, very very important point. Not only slavery but also he prohibited female infanticide killing of the girl child that was prohibited. He also suppressed the, hum the practice of human sacrifice among the Khans that was going on in Central Asia. So very important development in this regard is basically slavery ko abolish kiya, female infanticide ko abolish kiya or human sacrifice ko. All these things were abolished at that point of time by Lord Harding. <coughs> Next important governor general at this point was Lord Hadlohazi, a very very important one. Because after this, the revolt would be taking place. It was Dalhousi who basically assumed the office, double duty as the Governor General of India and the Governor General of Bengal. <clears throat> Later on, according to the act that was passed in 1853, he became the first full-fledged Governor General of India. When the act was passed, the position was differentiated. Isse pehle kya hota tha? Governor General of India also used to be the Governor General of Bengal also. <coughs> when Dalhousie, he assumed the office, he assumed the office as the combination of both of two. Governor General of India and Governor General of Bengal. But when the act was passed, the offices were separated. Governor General of India became the highest post and the Governor of the Bengal was made a separate post. Bengal to... <coughs> long ruled by the governor general or his delegates and therefore that was placed under a separate lieutenant governor basically in may 1854 when you talk into consideration take into consideration Dlhozi was a strong imperialistic man <clears throat> he believed that no such state should exi exist E X I S T, which could be annexed by the companies to the companies empire. He basically used the doctrine of laps on the one hand, the doctrine of war, the doctrine of misgovernance on one pretext or the another pretext, basically to achieve his objective. Ki objective ko kaise achieve kar sakte hai, kisi bhi se. So different pretexts were used. Doctrine of laps. What is doctrine of laps? Basically, if a king is there and he do not have a natural heir to the crown, his territory would be next. Doctrine of war, basically in the context that the very states were annexed on the pretext of right to conquest, ki hai, ki apni territory ko expand kar sakte hai. Doctrine of misgovernance, Means in certain states, govern governance is not going on according to the demands and expectations of the people. Therefore, we feel that we should be nexting that particular state and providing good governance to the people over there. The, by the, using the doctrine of labs, various Indian states were annexed. So friends, it is, it is not that it was the doctrine of labs. It was basically the lapse of the morals that has taken place on the part of the Indians. Indians ke morals hi, or Britishers ke morals hi khatam ho chukhi, they, se they were annexing one state after another. For example, Satara, Jaitapur, J-A-I-T-A, <coughs> Sambalpur, Bhagat, Udaipur, <coughs> Jansi, <coughs> and Nagpur. These states were next one after the other. Uh, hello, Anshul, how are you? Not a problem. We say, say continue. So, Tara was next in 1848, Chaitapur and Samarpur 49, Baghat in 50, Udaipur in 52, Jansi in 53, and Nagpur in 54. He also proposed to next Karoli, 
but their proposal to annex Karoli was basically disallowed while Baghat and the state of Udaipur which was annexed respectively but afterwards they were basically restored to the native rulers <coughs> नहीं नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम आंचल आप दोबारा देख सकते हैं वो कोई इशू नहीं है जितना भी आपका पंद्रह बीस मिनट का मिस हुआ वो देख लीजिए डलहौजी ही ऑर्गेनाइज अ सेपरेट वर्क डिपार्टमेंट बाय डेवेस्टिंग द मिलिट्री बोर्ड ऑफ दिस पावर इन इच प्रेजिडेंसी एंड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेजेस वर प्रोवाइडेड ही आल्सो नॉट ओनली दिस बट आई एम ऑल्सो गुड बट ही आल्सो कम्प्लीटेड द गंगा कैनाल ऑल्सो very very important question is the department of public instruction <coughs> it was the department of public instruction that was also uh, started by him not only this but he also increased <coughs> improved the system of inspection of the gold abolished the practice of granting uh, the convicts and the free converted to other legion <coughs> you'll go convert kar do from the loss of their civil rights not only this but another thing that is important is with the objective of letting the civil administration more europeans he includes that he considered to be useless in this concern ki agar apne college khola hua hai training ke liye and that is not providing much benefit so that should be closed <coughs> very important thing is woods dispatch <coughs> was introduced by him and that is basically referred to as magna carta of the english education in india uh, until theek hai definitely will uh, some day will take up ethics also not a problem if uh, if you want to uh, see any of this this model answer discussion of ethics or any other paper paper 1 2 3 also तो आप मेरे YouTube चैनल पे भी देख सकते हैं YouTube चैनल का नाम है मलुका ई एस वहाँ पर भी काफ़ी मॉडल आंसर वो आंसर मैं हाँ वहाँ पर मैंने डिस्कस करे हुए हैं यू कैन राइट दोज आंसर एंड सेंड इट टू मी ऑल्सो तो वहाँ पर मैं अवेलुएट कर दूँगा टेलीग्राम पर मेरे को सेंड कर दीजिए एल अवेलुएट ही आल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द वुड्स डिस्पैच नोन एज द मैगना कार्ट ऑफ इंग्लिश एजुकेशन इन इंडिया in 1854 what happened was that charles wood the president of the board of control he played a very important role in the preparation and therefore the scheme of education that was there was suggested from the primary level to the university level top se leke bottom tak another thing that the lahouzi is associated is basically with the development of the railways also in the context that the first railway line was opened in april 53 from bombay to thane and then second from calcutta to rani ganj also next he played a dalhousi also played a important role in the development of post and telegraph in the context that the telegraph lines were laid down <coughs> in various parts of india the first line was opened between calcutta and agra and the superintendent was o shangaskai he was basically appointed as a superintendent of the electric telegraph department <coughs> a new post office act was also enacted <coughs> and that's not a problem but a simple sa topic hai wo to actually in the new post office act of 1854 <coughs> what was important was in the context that a uniform postal rates were introduced and postal rates and postal stamps were also introduced for the first time in 1854 next is second anglo sikh war he for the second anglo sikh war that took place in 1848 49 and also next punjab on april 1848 when agnews of the civil service and lieutenant and anderson of the european <coughs> bombay european regiment having been sent to take the charge of multan from diwan mulraj and they were murdered over there and within a very short span of time <coughs> the british troops <coughs> they came and the sardar they, they joined the open rebellion
He also organized a strong army for the operation in November also. And himself proceeded to Punjab in this regard. The second Anglo uh, Sikh war was fought at this point. Then. <clears throat> it was during this time that Shimla was made the summer capital for an army headquarters also. The, arm, the uh, headquarters of artillery was also shifted from Calcutta to Meerut. So, dono ke dono hua, summer capital and army headquarters Shimla ko bana diya. Or artillery, uh, headquarters of the artillery that was also shifted from Calcutta to Meerut. Hindu widow remarriage act also passed at this point of time in 1856 only. That provided for the remarriage of the widows. And it was in this context that... Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar, he played a very important role. <clears throat> Dlhauzi, he also next Pegu or Lower Burma in 1852. On account of ill treatment that was given by the Burmese government to the British merchant. Second Burmese War, <coughs> K time keeper, annexation of the Pegu or Lower Burma took place. And after the annexation, Colonel Author Fahire was put in charge of it. <coughs> Another important development was that he abolished the titles and pensions. Kis kis ka? For example, Nawab of Carnatic, which was partially reversed in 1867, Raja of Tanjore, and also stopped the annual payment of Nana Saib also, who was the adopted son of Peshwa Bajirao II after his death. <coughs> he also stopped the pension and removed legal titles of the Mughal Emperor and said that after the death of Bahadur Shah II, <coughs> But it was later on rejected. The next session of the Berar took place from the Nizam of Hyderabad. <clears throat> Basically, on the account that there is areas of auxiliary forces that is going, going on, taking place. <clears throat> In 1854, James Outram, he was basically being posted as a resident in the court of Lucknow. And Outram was directed that he would be submitting a report on the condition of the provinces. And the report was accordingly for, for, uh, furnished in 1855 and said that there is a good amount of disorder and misrule that is prevailing. And said that because of the misgovernance, it is expected that people are looking towards the Britishers, the Britishers could annex them. <coughs> Or next, Karenge to Kacha Raj De Paenge. Therefore, on the pretext of misgovernance, Abd was to be next. Lahozi also raised a Gorkha regiment. And ports at that point of time. <coughs> yes, Nanin, I say just say Vajira 1, Vajira 2, I say, Uzi Sab say, Nana say 1, 2, Alag Lag. The adopted son of Eshwa Vajira II, uh, Nana Sai Vita. <clears throat> By Saharanpur rules that were there of 1855, Dalhousie reduced the state demand of land revenue to 50%, basically in the Mahalwadi states. Pe demand ke 50%, even that was high. It was during this time that the Santhal Rebellion has taken place. Very, very important development. Santal Rebellion took place. That was the last of the important rebellions that was there 1855, 1856. Your tribal uprising was the last important one. The Religious Disability Act was passed at this point of time only. <clears throat> and this act proposed in 1845 and later on passed in 1850 and also known as Lex Cossi Act. What is this act? It said that if there would be a person and he gets converted from Hinduism to Christianity, 
then his right over the property, the ancestral property would be remain, maintaining. Agar koi bhi. Yes, yeah. In that region, Malwas, Gujarat, uh, Gujarat Gobi, Bundelkhand, yes, wahan pe tha. Actually, kya tha? Ki Maratha basically confederacy ki type hiya tha. That confederacy was basically broken in 1817. Uh, उस टाइम की आज 1817-18 के ब्रोक हुआ था। What was confederacy? The confederacy in the context that there would be one king, for example, Shivaji is there, and others following Shivaji. There would be a hierarchy of important officials to help the king, for example, Peshwa tha, uh, Sarnavista, etc., etc. Were there. There were other smaller rulers that were ruling within the Maratha, for example, the Sindhyas, okay, the and uh, Gaikwad, etc. They were there. They used to pay certain amount of taxes to the Maratha king. And they were ruling, for example, some were ruling in Malwa region, Pondel Khandwala region, we captured Kiyata. Gujarat was attacked, for example, even by Shivaji also. Shivaji ne bhi Gujarat ko attack kiya tha, ekwa. So in that context, they had certain control at, at one point of time. Lekin, when the attack was undertaken by Shivaji with the objective that he wanted to amazed the uh, Mughal rule and wanted to carry out the loot and plunder over there. And therefore the latest disability act, latest disability act kya hai? Ki agar koi bhi Hindu Christianity may convert ho jata hai, the right over the ancestral property will always be there. Earlier this thing was not available. Agar aap Christianity may convert ho jata hai, aapki ancestral property ki upar aapka adhikar nahi rehta. In that case, that affected the religious sentiments of the people at that point. Next, very, very important is Lord Canning. He entered upon the duties of his office in India in February 1856. He was also the first Viceroy of the British India. Pahela Viceroy tha. Canning was given the additional designation of Viceroy of in 1858 uh, basically a governor general but that particular person when he would be dealing with the Indian states it would be governor general when the same important person would be dealing with the Britishers or for example the crown it would be referred to as Viceroy it was during his time that the revolt of 1857 took place During his tenure, and after the suppression of the revolt, the Mughal emperor, the Bahadur Shah, was basically exiled to Rangoon. Usko Rangoon based diya. It was during this time that the famous Indigo revolt also took place. Eighteen fifty nine sixty, and the and this. Plight of the indigo planters, etc., was basically being depicted in uh, by Deen Bandhu Mitra in his book Neel Darpan. Neel Darpan may kafi achhe tarike se hota hai. Ha Cornwallis to he introduced that uh, thing only na. Uh, for example, kya bolte hain usko land revenue system jo humne kal kiya tha. Yes, this is Lord Canning. Yes, a permanent settlement that was introduced by Cornwallis firstly in, in 1790 and that was made permanent in 1793. The plight of the indigo planters is basically being depicted in Deen Bandhu Mitras in his book Neel Darpan. He announced the Queen Victoria's proclamation at Allahabad also. That now that the, uh, 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 everything would be taken over by the crown. The Government of India Act was enacted in 1858, but was passed during his tenure itself. This act created a post of the Secretary of the State for India. And this post of Secretary of the State, Pahlevar created Kiyagata, and he would be assisted by the Council of 15 members. And they are basically known as <coughs> Indian Council.
the indian council was act was uh, passed of 1861 that was there the act provided for the setting up of the legislative council ki yahan pe legislative council set up kiya jaye <coughs> both at the central level and at the provincial level also a very very important development is basically the portfolio system the portfolio system was introduced by the indian council act portfolio system kya hota hai <coughs> that different department they would be divided and is tarike se at ministries hai us tarike se portfolio system different portfolios would be given to different persons to carry on the administration jis tarike se alag alag departments diye jate <coughs> therefore the portfolio system of the government was introduced at this point नहीं नाम विलियम शब्द का मतलब तो नाम है ना जैसे हमारे भी तो कुछ नेम्स ऐसे ही होते हैं जो काफी कॉमन होते हैं जैसे राहुल हो गया कुछ भी ऐसा कुछ नहीं है द डॉक्टर ऑफ लेप्स दैट वाज स्टार्टेड बाय लोहजी वाज ऑफिशियली वेड्रॉन इन 1857 In 1857, various universities were set up. Calcutta, Bombay, and Madras were established. हाँ वो नाम हो गया ना जो भी नाम हो गया इसका जो भी exactly मेरे को I do not know what is the meaning of the word William. <coughs> the European troops of the East India Company. they revolted in 1859 that is white mutiny the rajput states of baghat and udaipur were returned to their respective rulers also on the ground <coughs> that they were protected ally and not subordinate ally unko return kar diye gaye the the penal code of 1860 <coughs> declared that a slave trade in india will be illegal and slave trade was to be made illegal in 1860 the next important governor general in india at that point was lord elgin <coughs> it was he who suppressed the wahhabi movement that was going on and later on he died in dharmshala in 1863 <coughs> robert lepier he was there much important work did not take place he was officiating only <coughs> next john lawrence <coughs> 1864 to 69 he is famous for his policy of masterly inactivity and this policy is basically in the context of associated with afghanistan also <coughs> in the context that he comparatively remained watchful about various activities which are taking place in afghanistan but usne kuch internal administration mein bilkul interfere nahi kiya <coughs> in 1869 1870 the telegraphic communication started in with europe also the higher courts were set up for calcutta bombay and madras in 65 he also fought a war with bhutan also a severe famine took place <coughs> in odisha and that a heavy toll a number of people died in this the domestic affairs he increased the education opportunities for india the education opportunities that were there for the indians increased but at the same time the limited the use of the native indians in the highly civilized civil service post also unka comparatively limit kam kar diya <clears throat> Next is very very important is Lord Mayo. It was he who consolidated the frontiers and organized the country's finances also in a proper way. He also promoted much of the uh, works, for example, irrigation works, co promote kia, railways co promote kia, forest and other public useful uh, useful public works were promoted by him. He also initiated the policy of financial and administrative decentralization in 1870. It was during this time that the first census had definitely taken place in 1872. 
the Rajkot College in Kathiawar and the Mayo College in Ajmer was established at this point of time, basically for education and practical training of the Indian princes. Statistical Survey of India <coughs> was set up by him and also introduced, established the Department of Agriculture and Commerce also. He also began the <coughs> Norm okay. Resolute protector. Oska Shabdika Matlavotaga Tika. Thank you for the information. <clears throat> he also began the system of state railway. While visiting the convict settlements at Port Blair in Andaman for the purpose of inspection, he was assassinated by Sherali. Sherali Nesku Mahabi Martya. <clears throat> okay. Next is Stretchy only. On the assassination of Lord Mayo, it was he who temporarily acted as the viceroy. Lord Canning was appointed, uh, he appointed in the president of the commission, basically to investigate the great cholera epidemic that was prevailing in 1861 when he was there. Important development that took place was basically the report of the Royal Commission on the condition of the army that was presented. A permanent entity commission was established as Stretchy as the president. Next is Northbrook that was there. Not much development took place during his time. Lord Lytton. Watch, dictate, I think. Wall watch, uh, Matlab. Uh, kiss can take uh, wall watch, Matlab, ye kya hota hai? तो बताओ मेरे को मैं तब तक आगे कंटिन्यू करता हूँ और सेल्फी भी करते नहीं आई एम अनेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दोबारा बताओ क्या कह रहे हो ठीक है मैं तब तक कंटिन्यू करता हूँ लॉर्ड लेटरन देव वाज देव to the literary world, he was known as Owen Meredith. He was basically a reactionary governor general. As it was during his time that various unpopular measures were also initiated. A great famine took place in 1878 to 79, and various states were affected in different parts of the country. But the maximum impact was basically seen on the Madras. इस पर ऐसे इसको मेड्रास फेमिन बोल बोला जाता है। In 1876, the Royal Title Act was passed by British Parliament, and the title of the Empress of India was conferred upon Queen Victoria. और इसको formally assume करने के लिए by the Queen, a Delhi Darbar was organized in January 1877, where this declaration was done in the context of India. Another important is basically the Vernacular Press Act. To suppress the native rulers. This act basically empowered the magistrate to call upon the printer, who is a printer, a publisher, or any vernacular language. Basically, to enter into an undertaking that they will not be publishing any news which could have or which could create antipathy against the Indians, <coughs> against the government. Which be as a nahi karenge jo government ke khilaf logon ko badkane ka kam kare. Next act was Indian, uh, the Arms Act was passed 
1878 नहीं एक्चुअली क्या होता है कि फॉर uh, एग्जांपल जो हम स्क्रीन पे पढ़ाते हैं तो जो पढ़ा रहा हूं वो मेरी स्क्रीन पे आ रहा है लेकिन जो भी आप टाइप करके हमें भेज रहे हैं वो मेरे को मोबाइल से देखना पड़ता है तो मोबाइल मेरा इधर रखा होता तो उसकी वजह से टाइम एंड अगेन मेरे को दिखाना पड़ता है तो दैट इज द रीजन और कुछ नहीं होता नहीं 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 नॉट 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 आ रही है कुछ ऐसा नहीं है तो दैट जो भी आपके मैसेजेस जितने भी आते हैं वो हम उसी हिसाब से देखते हैं आर्म्स एक्ट दैट वाज देयर 1878 व्हिच डिक्लेयर्ड कीपिंग अ बेरिंग ऑफ आर्म्स कीपिंग ऑफ आर्म्स बेरिंग ऑफ द आर्म ट्रैफिकिंग ऑफ इन इन आर्म्स विदाउट अ लाइसेंस दैट वुड बी डिक्लेयर्ड एज अ क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस that if you are keeping arms without any thing then that would be criminal offence the europeans the anglo indians and same category of and some category of the government officials on the other hand were exempted from this he also started as statutory civil services in 1878 he lowered the maximum age from 21 years to 19 years for civil services in the basically in the context that that indian should be prevented from entering into the civil service not only this but lord lytton he also appointed a famine commission under richard stretchy when the famine was there the strategy of mastery inactivity that was early going on that was dropped and in that context he followed a aggressive forward policy he for he for the second afghan war from 1878 to 1880 which again proved to be a misadventure and the war ended in a failure also in 1879 he removed the 5% ad valorem duties basically from the imported cotton product jiski wajah se baad mein agitations bhi hue because indians they were continued to pay a high amount of taxes while they were exporting to britain par jab wo british company kuch export india mein kar rahe the aur unke upar bhi jo duty lagayi ja rahi thi that was competitively reduced or ended in 1879 the deccan agriculturist relief act was passed which provided a relief to the peasants against the money lenders interest rate smuggling of the salt that was undertaken at this point of time was removed by him the princes of the indian state they were also you know problem no problem made to surrender rights to men kyunki aapko nahi pata hota ki how the system is operating because when i started teaching it was also very much new to me because uh, offline teaching is something different ऑनलाइन टीचिंग इज समथिंग डिफरेंट एंड ऑनलाइन स्पेशल क्लास में तो वो ये कैन बी डूइंग ओवर हेयर ऑल्सो अब हमारे पास राइट साइड में कमेंट सेक्शन होता है वहाँ पर आ रहा होता है पर दिस यूट्यूब सेशन इज समथिंग डिफरेंट फ्राम अ स्पेशल क्लास जो दूसरी क्लासेज हमारी होती है तो वी हैव टू बी ए कस्टम तो ये टेक्नोलॉजी का सबको नहीं पता होता ऐसा नथिंग नेक्स्ट इज जॉर्ज रॉबिनसन और लॉर्ड रेपर अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट it was during his time that the first factory act was passed in basically in 1881 basically for the welfare of the children children ke welfare ke liye in this context he prohibited the employment of children below the age of 7 years ki jo bhi children below the age of 7 years they were to be prohibited from employment not only this but this act also limited the number of the working hours for the children below the age of 12 7 saal ke niche to prohibit hi kar diya 12 year tak basically he uh, limited the number of the working hours for the children also ha ab to chalo ab to 21 kiya yes ab ye to what is your age
and said that the dangerous machineries would definitely be fenced. This act was applicable only to the factories where pe 100 se ja, 100 or more hands for 50 persons were. The vernacular press act that was passed earlier was repealed in 1882. <clears throat> the foundation of the local self-government took place in 1882. The passing of the local self-government act in which with that provided for the establishment of uh, the local self-government in various provinces. The first decennial and the regular census, pehle census ho chuka tha, but that was not regular and it was started in 1881, which says that the population of the country at that point of time was 254 million. Ripon, he also advanced them further, the process of the financial decentralization, which was earlier initiated by Lord Mayo, usko aur jada badane ki koshish kari Lord Ripon ne. An education commission was appointed under William Hunter. Here, no, no problem. Let's go. Are you talking about eligible? If you are 21, then you are fine. If you are not 21, then you are fine. The reason being that you are not in the UPSC tension. Ripon was associated with Ilbertville controversy. Now, what is the Silbertville? Ilbertville is basically a bill in this egg bill. Uh, Robin names the Robin. Robin. <laughs> now, what Ilbertville? Uh, this a bill was introduced, and according to this bill, the if there is any Brit European who has committed certain crime, an Indian could sit on a judgment upon that person. Bath may introduce Kardigi changes. It cannot happen because the British they were basically being governed by the white man burden. White man burden ke liye, that was in that context it was there. So we would nahi chaharay ki the Indian should be sitting on a judgment against a European. A European Defence Association was formed just bad me rokaliya. ठीक है फिर तो रिलैक्स रहो अभी बस तैयारी शुरू करो अच्छे से सो इट विद एलबर्ट विल कंट्रोवर्सी इन 1883 ही सॉट टू अबॉलिश द ज्यूडिशियल डिस्क्वालिफिकेशन बेस्ड अपॉन रेस एलबर्ट द लॉ मेंबर ऑफ द वाइस रॉय काउंसिल प्रिपेयर्ड अ बिल व्हिच बेसिकली सॉट टू अबॉलिश द ज्यूडिशियल डिस्क्वालिफिकेशन दैट वाज बेस्ड अपॉन रेस देयर वाज अ स्ट्रांग प्रोटेस्ट दैट टुक प्लेस इन यूरोप पर्टिकुलरली इन द इंग्लिश the European found, uh, they founded basically the European Defense Association. To oppose the bill. Eventually, under pressure, the government amended the bill and provided for the rights of the Europeans to claim by judiciary of 12, out of which at least 7 would be Europeans. Ripon, he restored the state of Mysore, which was earlier annexed by William Bentick. It was during his time that the Famine Code was followed in 1883 that was framed. That what help was to be provided uh, by the Britishers and what would be the demarcation of the responsibilities that could be done. Not only this, but is also remembered for the various liberal measures that he undertook and therefore as also known as Rip Ripon the Popular. He usually said, judge me by my works and not by my words. Isko judge karo iske kaam se, not by his words. Jo kera usse nahi. He sought unsuccessfully basically to modify a permanent settlement of Bengal. Usko modify karne ki basically to propose and give a permanency and security to the riots also. Unko bhi which na which security mil sake. The Zamidars of Bengal oppose this. <coughs> Ripon, he set up a department of agriculture and commerce.
Pandit Mohan, Mohan Malviya, he said in 1909 session that Ripon was the greatest and the most beloved viceroy who India has ever known. He was one of the most beloved viceroy that was there. S.M. Energy said that Ripon is remembered for the purity of his intentions. His intentions are comparatively poor. The loftiness of his, of his ideas, the righteousness of his policy and hatred of the racial disqualification that was there. And therefore, Indians also, they held Lord Ripon with good, dis, uh, good, good regard also. Next is Lord Dufferin, a very, very important for development of the foundation of the Congress took place during his time. In 1885-86, he fought the Third Burmese War. Third Burmese War was fought. And finally, that led to the annexation of Burma. The, second, uh, the Indian National Congress was founded at this point of time. The Bengal Tenancy Act was passed basically to check the just elections of the, by the landlords or the presence of the, by the landlords. He also carried on the elimination of the northwestern boundary with Afghanistan also. He published a report on the condition of the lower classes of population in Bengal and that is known as famously known as Dufferin Report. This can be one of the question ki Dufferin Report kya hai? The report that was prepared by Dufferin, he got prepared the report basically on the condition of the lower class of the population in Bengal. And the report clearly highlighted the plight of the poor in Bengal and was used by the nationalists basically to counter the Anglo-Indian claim that Beautifully, that had been beneficial basically to the poorest members of the Indian society. Ki unka rule Indian members ke liye helpful rahe. That was a view that was given by the British. Usko counter karne ke liye use kiya gaya. Following this report, Tuffin recommended that the establishment of the provincial and the central council sh uh, should also be set up with Indian member. Mangai ka jamana hai. Student life is the best life. Take a buddy alive. Next is Lord Lansdown, the next important Governor General who was there. Yes, Ripon was a very good Governor General. It was a division. This is very, very important. <clears throat> the division of the civil services was taking place. The division took place into Imperial Civil Services, Provincial Civil Services and Subordinate Services was carried. It was during his time that the Indian Council Act was enacted. And in, according to the Act of 1892, the number of Indians that was to be there was increased from 10 to 16, minimum 10, maximum 16. When the Act of 1853 was passed, the numbers of the Indians that were there was minimum 10 and max, minimum 6 and maximum 10. This was added minimum 10 to maximum 16. The second Act, act, act was passed, the Aid of Consent Act was passed. This name, uh, it was basically B.M. Malavari who made a very big effort in increasing the age and the, is forbidden the age of uh, the marriage age below 12. Demarcation of the boundary with Afghanistan was also carried out. So friends, today we will continue to continue here. We will stop over here also. And we will take up various other sessions also. And the classes would be regularly. E classes chal rahi hai. Along with these classes, various other classes, for example, the special sessions are also being organized. You can join me there also. And if you want to join the plus platform, use my referral code Maluka10. You can join and you will get a 10% discount. <coughs> telegram pay Mereko Telegram channel ka naam hai Maluka sir. Aap mere ko message kar sakte hai. WhatsApp kar sakte hai is number pay. Do write that you, if you want to join the Unacademy group that I have created, do write that you are a student of Unacademy and write your name and then only I would be adding you to the group. 
so thank you very much friends we'll continue very other important sessions in the upcoming sessions of various other important topics thank you very much